In this video, we're going to showcase how we can demonstrate the zero touch deployment functionality of our Citrix SD-WAN solution. There are some prerequisites that you will need. First, you'll need a Citrix Cloud account, which you can sign one up on citrix.cloud.com. You need a provisioned SD-WAN environment. MR5 is the latest one that you can find in Demo Center. And you need a physical appliance. In this demonstration, we use the 210. Now, when you provision your environment, you will encounter the details of the environment here. And you can find the respective public WAN links to get into the, to the individual virtual machine. Now, this demo center environment is pre-configured with an active MCN running uh, in the demo center cloud. And there is a public IP that we can reference here to establish a uh, static public IP that our physical appliance will connect into to establish the virtual path, but it needs to be inputted into the configuration. So that'll be our first step. But before we get there, uh, let's take a look at our topology. Now, the demo center environment is this virtual, virtual environment on the top portion of the topology. You have the virtual branch office, you have a virtual data center. But for our zero touch deployment, we're, you're, we're going to use a physical remote office or physical appliance to connect into the MCN that's hosted in our demo center environment. Now, everything is in place for this to automatically work. The only thing that we need is the static public IP to place in the configuration so our zero touch deployment service will connect into it and the appliance would be able to establish the virtual path. Okay, now with the topology identified, the IP structure is important because essentially the configuration that we have that's in the pre-staged environment, the branch office site for this particular demonstration has already been configured for a 210 LTE device. Three WAN links have already been defined. So you just have to match your underlay network to match this exact topology. 172.17.30.0/24 is a uh, deployed in fail-to-wire inline mode across the primary internet link. And then there are second, secondary internet links on 1 slash 3 and LTE, if it's an LTE device that you have. Now, what we need to do is place that static public IP in the configuration of the MCN so he listens on the second internet link that is available at 20 megabits per second. So we'll go ahead and do that as the first step. Now, the configuration is in our SD-WAN center. So we'll go ahead and open up a new tab there and we can log in with the supplied credentials for our SD-WAN devices. Now this SD-WAN center is also hosted in the cloud, so you have public IP access to it. And again, it's a pre-configured running environment. All we have to do is go into the configuration, network configuration, open the pre-staged config that's actively running. And for our DC site, in the definitions of the WAN link, or secondary internet WAN link. We just have to update the public IP that's being associated here. Each demo center environment will get a unique static public IP that you can copy and paste directly into that environment, into that configuration for DC underscore INET2, okay? So once that is applied and saved, you can save the configuration, you can export it, and you export it to the change management inbox of your MCN. And the MCN is also provided here as a public IP. It's the DC SD WAN standard edition MCN. You can open that up in a new tab, log in with the credentials provided by the demo center provisioned email, navigate to configuration, virtual WAN, change management. And that export of the config has been exported to this specific area of the MCN. So we'll begin the change management process and we'll push the configuration that we just pushed into the inbox. So this is the active configuration. You could have optionally changed the name of it so that you could identify it as yours. But um, as long as you export it from that SD-WAN center, that is the inbox there. So we'll just go through this process and uh, import that config. So what we've done is fast forwarded the video so that we can get to this uh, complete stage for DC site one and BR one, branch office one. These two are already in the configuration and actively want running. The branch office site, the 210 site, this is the one that we're going to deploy for the zero touch deployment. So that virtual path is not established yet. We have to get the configuration on that box and we're gonna use the zero touch deployment process in order to do so. 
So from a change management standpoint, as you add a new site, you're going to have to click the ignore incomplete because we know that we don't have a virtual path established to this particular site. Uh, and we're going to accomplish that in the next step. So let's go ahead and complete the process here and activate um, the configuration so that not only the MCN will now be essentially waiting for this new site to come online, but also the branch office sites that are existing will, will be able to interoperate with that site um, as it comes online. So we'll use the zero touch deployment process to accomplish the configuration software installation to that particular box. Um, we just have to activate the config first so that the existing SD-WAN environment is aware of that new site. And the only thing that we've changed in the pre-configured, pre-defined configuration that we have in Demo Center is the public IP that this unique environment will sit and listen to as we add the new uh, 210 site via the, via the zero touch deployment process. So the one thing that I want to do is log in locally to the 210 appliance that we have waiting to join this uh, SD-WAN environment in, in uh, Demo Center. Um, and currently this particular device is in factory default state, the service is disabled, um, and he doesn't have any identity yet. But we're going to use a zero touch deployment service to give him that identity. That process begins by going back to the SD-WAN center. Now that the configuration with the updated public IP has been pushed out and the, the MCN is sitting and waiting for the branch office to join the network, we can initiate the zero touch deployment process by going to configuration, zero touch deployment. Now I've already logged into here, but essentially you have a lo cloud login option. When you come to this page, you click that. Um, and as you log in, there's a pop-up window that comes in to input your Citrix account information. Now, make sure that your browser is not blocking that particular window. Once you open up that pop-up, enter in your Citrix account credentials, allow that window to authenticate itself and communicate with the Zero Touch service. And then that window will automatically close and you will land on this prepare new site page. Essentially, these sites are available for zero-touch uh, zero deployment. And Branch Office 1 has already been deployed, so we could ignore that one. But the 210 is not deployed yet and is still waiting to connect to the MCN. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. Now, what you will do is enter the serial number here as an admin or allow the installer to enter in for you. But we're going to go ahead and, and enter in that serial number. So we can copy that directly from the UI or from the physical, uh, read it from the physical appliance, the chassis on the appliance. This is just going to be a street address of where the in installation of that 210 appliance will, will exist. And I'm just going to put in a test uh, input. Installer email is important. So enter in an email address that is valid and that will go to your installer at that site. Provide instructions for the installation. We want to cable the device for, for internet. Um, you can cable it on the management port. You can also cable the WAN links if you already have the, the topology laid out. Um, but once it's cabled in, you want to leverage, uh, you want to also power on the appliance. And then what you want to do is open the activation link. And once you do, click deploy as an admin, your installer will get an email to to deploy this particular, um, to initiate the activation process and deployment of that particular site. So as you can see, as we click that, the prepare new site, it's removed from this list and now is sitting in the pending activation. So the 210 site is waiting to be activated for that serial number. Uh, that email has been sent and we're just essentially waiting for the appliance to connect. And what that involves is as an installer, it's essentially their action to receive the email, perform the operation of cabling in for internet access on the management port, cable in the respective WAN links and power on the appliance, which we've already done here, and open up the activation of the zero touch deployment service. So as you click the activation uh, link, essentially it goes through a process. The process of zero touch, which is essentially the automated function of connecting, the appliance automatically will reach out and connect to the zero touch deployment service. It will download a configuration that we essentially uploaded through our activation, our authentication process as an admin on SD-WAN Center. It will download and install any missing software components 
essentially if it's coming from factory state, it's going to have an older software rev than what may be running in production. So it's going to check against that through the service, download and install the respective software that's needed to match the current running uh, software that's running on your MCN, your existing SD-WAN environment. It's going to apply the configuration, and then it's going to activate and actually install an eval license file, a temporary license file for the path to establish. So as that process goes through, we, that is the zero-touch deployment service. And as an admin, we can monitor that same activation URL, or we can go to our data center MCN and enable the auto refresh of our WAN paths. So what we're looking for here is the BR210 site. We're waiting for that one to come online. And as an demo center environment that has been pre-configured, pre-provisioned, your branch office and DC should come online by default. The configuration is already there. And we have the other videos that demonstrate using those existing components to demonstrate the SD-WAN solution. Now for zero touch, the branch office site BR210 is still waiting to come online and it's waiting for the completion of this zero touch deployment service. So what I'll do is I'll put these two side by side so that we can monitor not only the zero touch deployment service, but also our MCN for confirmation of our virtual path to go up and make sure that you're on auto refresh being enabled here. Okay, what we've done here is fast forwarded the video a few minutes in order for the appliance to install the software, apply configuration, and essentially activate the appliance. As an admin, we can monitor that state, and if any failures occur, we then can see that the failure and the root cause as to why. In this case, the activation succeeded, and as we can see that our installer successfully connected the DC internet link to, so we see it in a good state. Um, if we had a SIM card into this 210, this particular uh, LTE link would also have gone up. If we had properly cabled the data interfaces on the, on the secondary WAN link, this would also have gone up too. Um, but with this coming up in a good state for the internet link, the primary internet link for the branch office 210 appliance, we know that the zero touch deployment service has been completed from an admin standpoint. We can go to our dashboard of the 210, which was factory default, hit refresh, and we can see that the appliance has been up for, for roughly a minute um, with the activation being enabled, license being installed, and the respective software being installed as well to match the running configuration. Um, additional troubleshooting can be done by collecting logs if you do run into any zero-touch deployment service uh, failures. Of course, the configuration, once you have management access, you can go in and um, look at the respective WAN links for that particular branch office site to identify any dead links and to fix those appropriately. You can look at the ARP table to make sure that the WAN links are able to connect to their gateway um, that are predefined in the configuration. And in this particular case, the gateway is, um, the gateway for the secondary WAN links are uh, essentially waiting for the reply, uh, reply pending. But the, the one gateway that is active, it, it's able to um, uh, respond properly. So 172.17.31.10, uh, sorry, 31.1 is not responding. 172.17.30.1 is responding. And as we go back to our topology, we can identify that this particular uh, virtual IP address that's associated with the 30 network is available and we can get to that gateway. This one, we are unable to get to that. That just means that the WAN link was not connected or the, the modem may be down in that particular scenario. And the, the third WAN link, the LTE uh, SIM card may not be inserted for it to establish. But if all the three components are there and the underlay network is operational, then our SD-WAN is establishing a virtual path and is connecting to the MCN in the data center. So that's the conclusion of the Zero Touch Deployment Service. That's how the functionality will work in our demo center um, to properly demonstrate how Zero Touch Deployment operates. Now, we will need to clean up this environment if we wish to reproduce the demonstration. So first and foremost, go ahead and go and close your activation URL. Um, go into your email and delete that activation um, email so that you don't get it mixed up with another uh, test that you want to run. And you can next go into your SD-WAN center, 
look at the activation history and you should see the, acti the activation completed for our 210 site. We wanna remove that entry, so select it and delete. And then that site should now populate back into the prepare new site. Okay. And in order to set up the appliance to run through the demonstration again, you will need to remove the configuration. So it's a pretty simple task of clearing the config. You go to the configuration tab, go to the virtual WAN, enable disable purge close, and you want to disable the service first so that you can clear the config. Uncheck the perform a diagnostic dump because we don't need that and just hit disable, okay. And then next go into configuration system maintenance, configuration reset and just configuration reset on the box. This will bring this 210 appliance or any appliance uh, into a factory default state. And with everything prepared and ready, you can run through the zero touch deployment process again for further demonstration.